Hello, how you doing? It's Scott. Here we are for another Power Pack Daily Devotional. This is um, February the 8th. Hope you're having a great day. Hope things are working great for you. Remember, what you have to do is expect for God to bless you. Deuteronomy 28. you got to read that. Powerful scripture. It's all about God telling the people through Moses, I want to bless you. I want to bless you going in. I want to bless you going out. Everything you touch will be blessed. But if you choose not to follow after the things of God, and consequently, since God knows what's safe for you, go your own way and fall into a bunch of dangerous traps, then you'll wind up with living with curses instead of blessings. Best thing to do is follow God. So expect God to bless you, because He wants to bless you. Okay, here we go. Let's jump into this. February the 8th. All right, now we're going to be reading out Exodus 11, 1 through 7. Now the Lord had said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here. And when he does, he will drive you out completely. Tell the people that men and women alike are to ask their neighbors for articles of silver and gold. The Lord made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people, and Moses himself was highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. So Moses said, This is what the Lord says about midnight. I will go throughout Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die. From the firstborn son of Pharaoh, who sits on the throne, to the firstborn son of the slave girl, who is, who is at her handmill, and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will be loud wailing throughout Egypt, worse than there has ever been or will ever be again. But among the Israelites, not a dog will bark at any man or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. Now let us read 12, 21 through 36. Then Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go at once and select the animals for your families and slaughter the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into the blood in the basin, and put some of the blood on the top and on both sides of the door frame. Not one of you shall go out the door of his house until morning. When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians, he will see the blood on the top and the sides of the door frame, and will pass over that doorway, and he will not per permit the destroyer to enter your houses and strike you down. <clears throat> Obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you, as he promised, observe this ceremony. And when your children ask you, what does the ceremony mean to you? Then tell them it is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord, who passed over the house of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshipped. The Israelites did just what the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sat on the throne, to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon, and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. Pharaoh, Pharaoh and all his officials and all the Egyptians got up during the night and there was loud wailing in Egypt for there was not a house without someone dead. During the night Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up, leave my people, you and the Israelites. Go, worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and your herds as you have said and go and also bless me. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and leave the country. For otherwise, they said, we will all die. So the people took their dough before the yeast was added and carried it on their shoulders in kneading troughs wrapped in clothing. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold and for clothing. The Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people, and they gave them what they asked for, so that the plund they plundered the Egyptians. Okay, this is this is powerful and sad. It's powerful to see how God looked out for the people. I mean, how <coughs> how um, the Israelites.
Israelites were not harmed. When the death angel came, the final plague, because Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let the Israelite people go and release them from slavery, set them free so they could go out and worship their Lord. Um, because of that, that Pharaoh's action was like that, that's why the last plague came. And it's powerful to see how God protected his people. You know, they um, took the blood from the lamb and painted over the doorpost, the death angel came by and saw that they were covered. And since they were covered and protected because of the covenant that God had made with them, and they were obedient to do what God had said to do by covering the doorpost, then the death angel went by and did not harm them. But the sad thing was is that Pharaoh was harmed because he didn't listen to God, because he didn't want to know God, because he didn't care about God, because he didn't choose to want to know about God. He had a hardened heart. So, there's two lessons to learn out of this. The first lesson is, number one, God made you. God knows all about you. God knows what's best for you. He knows what makes you tick. He knows what makes you excited. He knows what makes you sad. So, he knows what makes you happy. Happy. He knows what makes you mad. <laughs> so the point is, God knows all about you. And so he wants to give you the best. So don't try to do it your own way. Don't try to do your own thing. Follow after God, do what God wants, and then you'll get blessed. And he knows what's best. He's created the world. He knows what's in it. He knows the evil that's in it. He knows how you need to stay protected. And so you're best off listening to him watching out for him. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. And the other lesson is, if you don't want to listen up to God, if you don't want to follow up to God, if you want to do your own thing, if you think you know best, if you think you got a better idea, then Pharaoh's a perfect example of what will happen in your life. You're going to get all the, all the black holes. You're going to get all the curses in life, all the, the rotten things of this world. You're gonna, everything's going to cave in on you. Everything's going to crawl in on you because you don't have God to depend on because you don't believe in Him to depend on because you don't believe what, that He can help you or take care of you so you're not going to cry out to Him so you're going to fall into the black hole. Have a miserable life. Who wants that? So here's the thing. It's so simple. All you got to do, if you've been walking your own way, if you've been doing your own thing, you say, Lord, Father, <coughs> excuse me, Lord, Father, God, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I've been doing my own thing. I think I know. I, sometimes I think I know better. I realize I don't know best at all. I realize that I just keep falling into holes. Lord, forgive me, Lord. Help me follow after you. Help me seek after you. Help me learn what you want me to learn. Help me see what you want me to see. Lord, soften my heart, Lord God, so I can see you clearly in Jesus' name. Amen. That's all you got to do. Now, the way to see God clear and to get a softer heart is to read the Word every day. Like I told you before, if it's the seventh day of the month, you read Proverbs 7, the whole chapter. Now, if you're in a hurry one day, read Proverbs 7, one chapter. I mean, excuse me, one scripture. Just read one scripture. Read one scripture in the morning, one scripture at night. The, what you'll find out is it's so powerful that you don't want to stop because it's so good. Because you get a peace, you get a happiness. Plus you have a successful life and things work out good for you. So you love it. You got it. You love it. You got to love it. <laughs> okay. So, going to let you go. Glad we got to spend time together today. Now, be sure to leave a comment. I mentioned before, I don't know everything, but I've had some years with the Lord. And the Lord has shown me some powerful truths that I want to share with you to help you, encourage you in your walk with the Lord. So, if you got a comment, be sure be sure to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe. Gotta see, gotta let you go. See you later.